Oh, sorry, don't mind me. I was just enjoying the company of my favorite Twitch streamer, content creator, etc. Because the truth is, my deep psychological need for connection and community is currently not being met for a variety of societal and personal reasons. The largest one of them being the internet, which is ironically what I'm trying to use to fix this situation, but it's not working. It's like my arm was cut off and I'm putting a band-aid over it. And now it's like there's all these weird kids just sitting in their room where previously even they would have been able to connect and form their own little community and be okay. But now they're all just sitting in their room, constantly consuming media to avoid reality. My life is awfully mundane and sad. And it's to the point where I don't even know if I would consider it living anymore. I'm just like a hungry ghost floating around with zero hose. Let's do a little lesson on history, right? Humans used to be monkeys, and we were up in the trees and we'd swing on the vines, but one time a monkey went down from the trees and they started being more active during the daytime and they became highly socialized. Monkeys came together because monkey together, strong. The only way you could survive this cold, dark world is if you band together with other monkeys. Then, you know, Monkeys started, they continued to fuck, and they uh, scra- <clears throat> Let's try that again. They became people, and they created tribes, and the people would frolic out in the fields and pick berries and shit. It was wonderful. But then, Albert Einstein, Bill Gates, and all their homies, they, they made a gra- made a, they created a grave mistake. The internet, those sons of bitches. Now the internet has allowed people to do all sorts of crazy- all sorts of insane things. I can broadcast my dick and balls across the world wide web with little to no consequences. People can just sit at home and watch people. You can dead ass just order a bag of chips. Community is essential to our happiness, right? They say that loneliness is just as deadly as smoking 15 cigarettes a day. I would define a community as a support system, a network of people that are all unified by something. Many people today, specifically young people, don't have a community. They lack a support system. The average person only has one close friend. One in four people say they don't have any friends at all. 75% of people are unsatisfied with their social life. Generation Z is by far the most lonely generation. All of these statistics were pre-pandemic. The pandemic amplified them, but it's not the root of the problem. All of these things are caused by the internet. In the charts, you can actually see all of these things go up with the birth of social media and everybody buying smartphones. It's like a one-to-one -one correlation. It's corny. Everybody knows it's a problem but there's no getting rid of technology there's no stopping it you have to adapt uh the only way i can make this video not corny is by being vulnerable you know this has hurt my life a lot i'm about to go to college not because it's a good financial investment for career choices because it's not uh but where else am I going to go to be a part of something? At least I had some buffer. I didn't get my first smartphone until I was like in high school. So I had a pretty good childhood. It was pretty decent. But these kids now, Generation Alpha, I think is you're born after 2010. They're fucked. I didn't have a smartphone in elementary or middle school and I still fell into a vicious addiction. This is a societal problem that's been developing for a long time. But I don't want this video to seem like it has a defeatist attitude. I don't have that at all. I believe in taking responsibility. It's not like you're cursed. You can find a community. It just seems like a steeper slope now. But parasocial one-sided relationships on the internet get in the way of that. Some people don't think it's a problem at all. Some people think parasocial relationships are good. They help you feel this sense of community. I disagree. You can watch some videos or tune into a streamer and it makes you feel way better. It can brighten up your day, it can really help you, it can be a good thing. But you have to be careful 
because it's just not sustainable. Tons of people are watching VTubers. A lot of people see nothing wrong with that, but my immediate instinct tells me that it's strange and not not good, okay? Is it possible to have a flourishing social life and be successful and also watch VTubers? In theory, yes. But if I were to take a demographic of all of those who are tuning into a VTuber, what percentage of them would be socially inept? 98.7. And that's a conservative estimate. Why are mukbang videos popular? It's not like all these people doing them are immensely entertaining or hilarious. I'm not either. I'm not judging. I'm just saying. You could see it as this innocent thing, but people want to feel like they're eating with somebody when they're actually eating alone. That's sad. When things get rough, fucking Tanaka-chan, I don't know, I just made that up, I don't know if that's somebody, but they're not going to be there for you. Who is going to be there for you? Technology can bring people together and fix some of the problems that it caused, but it can't fix all of them. It can't completely repair what it's done. The data shows it. Every, loneliness is going up. If you don't want to be lonely, you should avoid engaging in parasocial relationships because they're just like instant gratification relationships. They're just something you can go to. There's no exchange. You just get the energy. You get the feeling, but you don't even have to do anything. It's not sustainable at all. Everybody just mindlessly eats their meals while they watch YouTube videos to feel connected. You should eat dinner alone if you're alone and feel that feeling that and not distracting yourself with these instant pixelated relationships is how you're going to be able to escape i have some more advice take it or leave it you're not an introvert temperamental introversion the kind that you're born with just means you don't prefer stimulative environments like nightclubs or concerts because your reward circuit is different. It does not mean social interactions should tire you out or make you anxious at all. It doesn't mean you should have a problem hanging out with a lot of people. The way most people would define introvert is not a personality trait, but a behavioral disorder. And if you were to call yourself an introvert, you're identifying with this disorder. You're identifying with a sickness that you should get rid of. Stop it. You're also not a sigma male or a lone wolf. Anything Everything significant that has been done has been done by multiple people coming together. I can act like I'm a lone wolf, but I'm talking on a microphone many people created. I'm talking to a camera somebody else created. I'm not self-sufficient. Anyways, I'm not going to deny that it's hard and it's tough out there right now. All this loneliness that we're seeing isn't just because people are refusing to connect it's it's because society's all fucked up in general shit is just wild right now i might see something wild in my lifetime i'm not gonna say the apocalypse but maybe dude things are really about to go down it's like maybe bide your time you know keep on jacking off oh get your only fans watch your streamers and just chill until western society falls and honestly i'm cool with that i'm so bored let the aliens come. Start shooting little green motherfuckers with a ray gun. I'd want nothing more.